Hi, this is Excel Video 83. I'm Nate Moore. Today we're going to come back to the data that we had here earlier. You remember April, May, and June. We've been playing with this collections chart for a long time now. And you know, in the real world, we're going to have July and August, September. Uh, we're going to want to add future years, months, whatever kind of data we have to charts. There's a, several different ways to do it. What we're going to talk about today is contiguous data. And all contiguous means is, hey, here's the data I have. The data I want to add is next door. It's, it's right next to the data that exists. So contiguous data is easy to add. Here's the data that's there. The contiguous or next two data is right next to it. Two ways to do it that we're going to talk about today, uh, a manual way to do it and an automatic way. The manual way to do it is to say, hey, look, here's my chart. And if I click down here in the chart, notice I'm in this plot area and watch what happens. See, um, Excel's highlighting says in this blue and says, look, here's the data I'm currently plotting. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it over here. And look what Excel's done for me. It recognizes that, hey, if I've got June, then I'm probably going to want July. So it extends this green area for me. And it shows up in my legend right there. Here's my July data like that. And that easy, I can easily add data as we go along. The automatic way to do it is to do something like this. If we format this as a table, yes, my data has headers. That's good to go. You'll remember we played with tables a lot um, several uh, Excel videos ago. And it gave me a column one as a title there because I didn't have a title. So I'm going to call it doctor. That doesn't bother me. Doctor A, B, C, and D. I've got April, May, June, July. Now let's let's do some dummy data for um, let's do this. Let's just do equals the quantity this times what should we make it go up? 1.03 percent, something like that. Now look what look how fast Excel did that for me. What they did is they said, all right, if you want to put this formula here, you're probably going to want it all the way down the table. So now all of a sudden my uh, collections went up 3% for each of my physicians. Now my only problem is up here when it tried to copy over for me, it assumed I wanted July 2011. I said, no, no, no. What I want is August 2010. And sometimes it gives me, let's do this and we'll put the little, um, this little uh, apostrophe there, single quote is going to hold me to August 2010. And now I've got my data there. Now look what's happened. Excel's automatically added August 2010 to my chart for Dr. A, B, C, and D in this light blue. Because it's in the table and the table's look linked to the chart, Excel says, hey, if you add more data to the table, no problem. We'll just dump it into your chart automatically, set up another uh, legend here, and give everybody an extra column in the graph. That fast, that easy. Um, you can add data automatically to it to a chart as long as you've got it in this table format. As long as it's in a table, you can easily go over here and add another um, month, or you could even hire another physician, Dr. E. And let's assume that we, uh, let's start him kind of low at 267,893. And then my formula still holds. And now look at this, nothing in the first couple of months until we hire him and then all of a sudden, Presto Magic, well, there's a good higher high. 267,000 collections the first month he's there. Woohoo. Um, but it, what Excel does, it says, hey, it's in a table. I'm going to automatically add Dr. E to the table as well. And as you keep adding physicians or months, years, whatever, because it's in a table format, everything auto adds automatically. Uh, stay tuned. Next time, what we're going to do is non contiguous data that's not next to each other in Excel uh, rows and columns, how to add that to your chart. And then there's another way that we can add data automatically to a chart as well. We'll get that in a couple of videos. Thanks for watching.